One of the biggest dominoes of free agency has fallen as Klay Thompson's era with the Golden State Warriors is completely over. He's not going to be teammates with Steph and Draymond with that dynasty anymore as he is going to be joining the Dallas Mavericks on a three-year deal that's going to be paying him $50 million, so just over $17 million annually. And this is going to be part of a sign-and-trade. It's actually going to be a multi-team sign-and-trade, so more details on that later. But what we know is that the Charlotte Hornets will also be involved and the Mavericks will be sending out Josh Green to acquire Klay Thompson as well so he'll kind of just be facing the Josh or replacing the Josh Green role now is Klay Thompson in his prime no he's dealt with those leg injuries and he's been through a lot recently last year he had to come off the bench because his play was declining to a certain extent but also he's going to be playing around a better supporting cast than he had with Golden State Steph Curry's still elite but besides that that team was getting older they had to replace him with some young talent like Brandon Pajemski, Jonathan Kaminga, the new wave of Warriors, and Klay Thompson actually had four-year offers but actually took less money over less years to join the Dallas Mavericks because he is serious about winning. He wants to win ring number five, so he took less money to play alongside Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. And that's another thing about Klay. Is he at the peak of his powers? No, but he doesn't necessarily need to be because he could still be a knockdown shooter. And when you're playing off Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic, two of the best self-creators in the league, you're going to have a lot of open looks where Kyrie's going to get down to the lane and collapse the defense. Luka is one of the best passers, if not the best passer in the entire NBA, so he's going to set him up with a bunch of open looks, so I think it's a very good chance to revitalize his career. It was clear that he kind of felt disrespected by some of the offers that the Warriors were giving him, and now he is still taking less money over less years for a chance to win an NBA championship. There is a player option on this as well. And like I said, it's a sign and trade. So Josh Green's going to Charlotte. Clay Thompson is going to Dallas. And it's to be determined who is going to Golden State. But this is also big for the Los Angeles Lakers. What are they going to do? Because it seems like they were right in the thick of it going for a Clay Thompson. And it was reported that LeBron would take a pay cut if they could get a player like James Harden, Clay Thompson, or Jonas Valanciunas. And now all three of those guys are signed and it's not to the Lakers. So the Lakers have some money. Will they pivot to a DeMar DeRozan now? That's just the domino effect of NBA free agency. But let me know your thoughts. Klay Thompson joining with the Western Conference champions, Luka Doncic, Kyrie Irving, and the Dallas Mavericks, who also lost Derek Jones from that starting lineup, but they signed Najee Marshall last night. So at worst, that could be a lateral move, but he can almost be better for them at some points as well. So we'll see what ends up happening. They have the full year with Daniel Gafford and PJ Washington as well. Derek Lively going into year two will only get better. Clay is a Dallas Maverick.